They said I cracked the first vertebrae in my neck and I broke this bone bad enough that it's still sore and numb. It's been almost four years since Dave West flew over the handlebars of his bicycle. He was riding along Okanagan Avenue when the plastic bag he was carrying was sucked into his front tire. He remembers the sound of his teeth breaking as his face hit the pavement. Luckily, he was wearing a helmet. Think of its use similar to our, our use of a seatbelt when we're in a car. We can't really anticipate when we'll be in a collision or when we'll need it. So it's important to use it whenever you're on the road to kind of prevent injuries uh, when you're using active tra transportation. Wearing a helmet is mandatory in all BC cities and on highways. Making sure it fits is as easy as practicing a 2v1 rule. It falls about two fingers above my eyebrows. I had adjusted the straps to form a V around my ears, and when I do up my chin strap, there's space for one finger to fit through. That shows that that is a, an effective intervention that reduces injuries and deaths. People on a bike without a helmet on, uh, you kind of go, eh, I hope they don't have the uh, same experience I did because you know, helmets are very important to have. Wearing a properly fitted helmet can reduce your risk of a serious head injury by 60%. Wes says that if it wasn't for his helmet, he knows his outcome would have been 100% different. In Vernon, Tracy Prediger, Castanet.